Welcome back to One Hour Limit Locked, where I race to complete some of RuneScape's most iconic challenges, whilst limited to just one hour of gameplay each day. In Season 1, we got ourselves a fire cape in 46 days, and in Season 2, we achieved Barrow's Gloves in just another 38. But now, in Season 3, it's time for our toughest challenge yet. The question is, how many days will it take us to complete our first ever raid on the account? We not only have to get ourselves geared and leveled up just to step inside a raid, we then have to complete it in under one hour, as logging out in the middle will end our run. I've no idea how long this is going to take me, but I can't wait to find out, so join me for the journey here in Season 3 of One Hour Limit Locked, as we become a Tomb Raider. Guys, gals, non-binary pals, it is time to make the Elodinus Warden our bitch, consensually. We're going back into the tombs today, it could be the last day ever on the series. We're kind of hoping it is, but at the same time, I'll be a little rusty, it's been a few days since I did any high-level content like this, and yeah, I've just woken up like two hours ago. Got a coffee here, hopefully it's enough to carry me through, haven't played much today. So, basically, I'm feeling like, as much as I'm confident in my own abilities, I'm not confident in my abilities this very second, just because of uh, how my brain's working. But, I was too excited about getting to it to wait till my brain had woken up more. So, here we are. Hopefully, I don't regret that. Let's get on down to business in the tombs of a mascot. Day 73 of Season 3. Pre-pot. Get your mantas. Made the group. It's good time, folks. It all comes down to this. Didn't even check my gear. I'm just assuming I got things right yesterday. Somebody would have commented otherwise if I didn't. You guys wouldn't let me just walk in here without my gear on. Come on, little croc. Where are you? I'm even gonna use my prayer. Please die. Please die. Please. Thank you. That was godly. Just run straight through those greens like no fucks given. And we're off. I'm gonna have to drop a manta to equip the blowpipe towards the end of this room. So hopefully I don't forget to pick that up. Wonder if we'll have better luck with the rubies today than we did at Scurrius, eh? Slow and steady so far, no specs or anything, but we haven't been hit at all either. Just did his first spec. I miss a flick though. I think I might have turned it off too fast. There we go. There's a screamer for a hundred. That'll push us into the next phase. Oh no. That was slightly unfortunate. There's another screamer. That's slightly fortunate. Straight into the next one. We've got a nice little rock here, but I am stepping in lots of acid because I'm bad. Just one of his specs left to go. Probably not long until we switch to our blow pipe. Last spec phase. Switch to the crossbow after the spec phase. Oh, lovely stuff. It was only a 67 though. Not the crossbow, sorry, the blow pipe. Gonna just spec a little, see if I can get some hit points back. Back up to full, absolutely perfect. Just one manta and some restore doses used in this room. Probably another dose or two yet though. We shouldn't really take any more damage here. If we did, we'd just heal up at the end of the room, so... Come on, extra range levels. Do do work for me here. Show me why I went and trained. It is feeling like it's a little more accurate than it was before. Like, we're doing a lot less zeros than we previously did against Zebax in Rage Phase. So, it's giving me a bit of confidence. I don't miss all my flicks. It's still taking a while, man, but... We are only at plus six range bonus, so... From our potions. Okay, let's grab that mana. Get the hell out of here. Yeah, just three restore doses and a manta used in that room. Very nice. Very nice indeed. First start off. Left, three, two, top one. Three, two, top one. I have fully figured that out now. I can do it as long as I'm paying enough attention. Humble. Nice. Zero. 
Star wave, star wave, knife boot, star. Not a bad puzzle room. Things are smooth. Hopefully we don't get fucked trying to kill the mage, because that is one thing I am slightly worried about, because we don't have any range boost here. That's my only real concern in this room, other than dumb mistakes. Man, maybe I should have got some attack levels, never mind range levels. Melee accuracy is not the one, and I forgot my range prayer, I'm an idiot. That's so many little prayer drones as well, from the invocation. We got double dung in phase one, which does indicate a slightly slower phase than perhaps hoped for, but it's not terrible. In fact, I'm gonna make my way over to this other side where the mage spawns so I can be right on him when he does. Okay, she didn't get a full heal. Decent scarab phase. I'm just gonna aggressively use this to repot. I probably should have waited till it ticks down, but oh well. She's every phase. We only need it for this fight. And we're not trying to conserve supplies or anything. We've got pocket change to go. Much better hits in this phase so far. There's our dung, so we should be able to just chill in this corner until the mage spawns in a moment. There we are. Straight on him. Okay. <sighs> on the soldier. Fortunately, we're not going to get to clean up any scarabs that are swarming towards. Get her to heal her up, so she is going to get the full shield recharge and a bit over the top. But that is pretty standard. As is this, unfortunately. Killing this soldier always takes the piss. We are in the chill phase now. Should be fairly simple from here out. Repot one more time. Final phase. May as well dump some useless specs. And there goes Kepri. Smooth start so far. We have spent two super restores and one manta ray. That is it. We will be taking our power and making our way into the path of Het for the most dangerous room pre-final boss. Oh my gosh. My pickaxe. Oh no, my pickaxe. Oh, I hope that doesn't cost us like a whole phase. Oh, look how slow that was! Oh, if anyone who's confused, in the very last raid we did before I decided to knock it up, I accidentally took my room pickaxe into the next room, so I had to drop it because I needed the inventory space. And I forgot to put a new one in there. Even though we had spare time yesterday where I could have... I had 10 minutes, if I'd just checked the little curve, I could have seen. Oh, this is so bad, look how low those numbers were. A bronze pickaxe with 52 mining is not where you want to be in this room. <laughs> if either one of those things were a bit better, if the rune pickaxe, 52 mining, it's okay. If you have the bronze pickaxe with 90 mining, you're good. Like, better than the rune situation, but... If you have neither of them, <laughs> it's just tragic. I need to call on an old friend here, I think, from my show, my league show that I did. I think that's the only way that I can make this truly go well. So I'm going to drop my manta ray here, controversial, and then place a mirror on it. And then, did they patch it? No way. No way they patched my favourite thing. I'm going to get hit. Oh, they patched it. I can't believe it. Unless it was different and I'm misremembering how it works. There was a way to get your mana rays to fly and now I just look like an idiot because my mana ray is not flying. Maybe it was the other way around. That might be it. Maybe I should just focus on the raid though. I'm actually just going to go assault that. Make sure we have run energy because walking sucks. Oh, that's it. That's how you do it. That is how you do it, folks. The legend of the flying manta ray returns. This manta ray can do whatever the fuck it wants. I don't care if I took 17 damage from the- Oh my god, I'm having to do another phase. Fuck this bronze pickaxe. Just like the tree on miscellanea. I swear down if my smell insults run out because I had to do another phase. I'm going to be really upset. I might take a hit here, but it's for the cause. Right, fuck the bronze pickaxe. If we run out of time on this run, that's why. 
couple brew doses just to make myself feel a little bit healthier before we get into this next next room it could blood up but i think we're pretty good on resources so i'm being overzealous with it also why didn't i put that away i'm just gonna drink it to get it out of my invent and then we will take out a liquid adrenaline and we don't need the smelling salt so that can go back Aka! Put a staff up to his hand Summoned his shadows, now he's dead Aka! Why do you switch so much? I'll stop now. Maybe. I don't know. I'm in a weird mood today. Perfect for a finale! Start switching a bit like a madman there, I'm not gonna lie. He did. My salts ran out. Thank fuck I noticed. Oh my gosh, I'm on the wrong style. Okay, just focus up a minute. The salts thing really distracted me. I was wondering why my hits were suddenly all garbage, and I was like, what if I go into the final phase without salts? That'd be the worst. Man, these hits are non existent. Please? Jeez, that felt rough. Okay, three brews, two manners. We're still doing decent on supplies. We've got six minutes left on these salts. We've only got one full dose left though, so I kind of want to get straight into Barbar -bar if I can to try and make full use of these so I don't have to, because I'd rather have the full two doses for the final fight rather than using one of them in bar bar but obviously we we don't want to get fucked on bar bar because we didn't salt yeah we might be moving through these sort of final areas quickly trying to get from one to the other to make the most of our salts but should be good Man, I always come out of here with no prayer because of all the random chip damage you take and the invocations we use, it just completely drains me every time. Why am I trying to fucking melee a cursed baboon? What am I doing? Alright, still got two and a half minutes left on the salt. I'm gonna get the next one out of the pouch just in case we need it. And if we do, we should still be able to run into the next room with plenty of time. So yeah, that's what I'm thinking. And we want our crossbow. We don't want any of our mage stuff. So we'll just move that out of the way so it doesn't distract us. Two minutes might be enough to do bar bar before the salt run out. Though we are more likely to use food towards the end of the fight. Actually just preemptively brewing a bit to try and stay safe so that if we do get to that final stage of the fight we're on a decent HP and that way we're less likely to need to brew later when the salts have run out because they've only got 45 seconds left. Marginal things here but hopefully every little helps. These hits are not coming through though. I mean you're not meant to use ranged here so it's fine but I was kind of hoping that the uh, extra range levels would have made a little bit of a difference there. Please, no. Okay, I was already done. <laughs> 
Oh no, that, that could have been bad. I think I'd take it at that. Possibly. Please give me a hit. Thank you. I'm in a rush. I don't even know what that is. Under four minutes, maybe? Okay, life it is. Two Ambrosia is very nice. I actually am super happy to see that. Do we have the invent space to keep all our resources is the question. So let me figure that out. We don't need to rush because there's no salt active currently. So we're all good. Look at all these brews. It is lovely stuff. Okay, we're going to want our mage gear up here again though. We are good, because if we keep them, that leaves us with so much extra stuff in the bag still, which will be super nice to have, because we've been going in with like only one thing in the bag or whatever. We need a little bit of space here, that's why I'm leaving a space for the defender. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. I think we're probably the most supplied we've been going into one of these, so we'll see. But fingers crossed this is the one, folks. 22 minutes still on the clock, no time pressure. Hopefully we don't have to tank too many balls here. So far the hits have not been coming. Gonna swap to the range since so we went and got those extra levels. Blowpipe, not the most accurate weapon. A high, uh, lower range, range level. It is seeming better than the melee though, to be honest. Okay, I'm gonna brew these because I don't want to use all my bandages up. I'd rather have them for the final phase. We got lots of brews. Right, we're gonna eat at least one more ball here. Maybe two. Oh, I was hoping we'd dodge the second one at least. So that's like a brew and a half gone on those. Please don't make me do another one. Just give me it before then. Please, please, I'm begging. No more balls. No more balls. No more balls. Oh, what is this? I'm gonna have to pop a bandage. Jesus, look how low that was. Okay, we went in with a load of supplies and half of them are gone because that fucking ball phase. Man, those phases are the most RNG heavy, I think. Because if we don't hit, then it just tanks so many supplies. Oops, that's not ideal. Okay, no more mistakes, please, now, James. Just chill. You've got plenty of brews, use them. Not very useful in the final phase anyway because you take so much little bits of damage from random shit the brewing's too slow the fuck am i doing oh i'm missing okay the first part of this has been very very messy but the rest of the raid up till this point was very smooth so let's just hope we can pick it up from here not make any more mistakes keep it pushing one more spec and i'm scared of getting robbed so yeah I swear, it's so weird. Blood Burst does heal you, but the single target one doesn't. I don't know why. It might be a bug. I'm honestly not sure. Maybe Barrage works too. Maybe it is intentional. Maybe it's something to do with the skull inside and doing multi-attacks. I really don't know. Oh, what the fuck am I doing? You know what? No. Don't need to unbrush you. Be a man. Jesus, I am eating so many brews. Oh my god, I poked. Oh, I'm tense, man. My jaw keeps clenching. I feel like I've used so many supplies. I just keep trying to tell myself that the supplies don't actually get used much in Warden other than the big heals during the final phase, but... <sighs> every, every hit I take, I'm just like, oh, fuck. Oh... I'm not the best at avoiding the hazards in this room. And there are a lot of them. Jesus, it's doing so much damage. Those extra defense levels might have been a, a blessing if I'd got them. No, why did I just salt again? I did not mean to click that. I did not mean to click my salts, and I brewed right after it as well, so these are all weaker, but we should be good. It's fine. There's no... We're not... We're not gonna need more than seven minutes of salt, I don't think, so. Okay, I need to get all my shit out of my bag. Glad we've got this extra Ambrosia in the, at least. Just brewing up. Restore up. Let's go.
There's a screamer. I didn't feel like our accuracy was amazing in that first phase, I'm not gonna lie. It did not fill me with confidence, but I don't know. I'm trying to read too much into it. Oh, we've got a defender. That probably doesn't help. Lovely stuff. Pipe time. I missed one that. Here we go. Oh my gosh, I'm on the wrong style. Terrible start. Let's fucking go! Oh my gosh, you all have no idea the relief that just went through my body. Look how many supplies we still have left. That was such a clean final phase. The first two phases of Warden's terrible. As soon as we got into this bit, I was locked in there. We got hardcore, to hardcore tombs and tomb explorer. I have no idea what they are. We got 53 minutes and 47 minutes on the challenge itself time. Oh my gosh. The only question left is do we get lucky on the purple? I've never had a purple outside of leagues. Never lucky. I don't care. We're done. We are actually done. Ooh, eight or an R seeds. That's actually not a terrible drop. You know what? I'm not mad about that. I can stop this timer now, y'all. The series is finished. We're done. You know, I was going to change my name to one hour unlocked, but it's too long and the only one that like fits is one H unlocked. I'm not sure I'm feeling that. So I think I'm just going to leave it as one hour limit forever, even though the account's unlocked now. I can go play this whenever the hell I want and I will. I'm going to be building this account up as a main, primarily by AFK in because this account has never got to AFK before. So the first thing I'm going to do while I edit this video probably is go and sit at Sand Crabs because I've never sat at Sand Crabs, literally. In fact, I think that's a good way to sign off. Should we go sit at Sand Crabs? <laughs> that feels like a great way to sign off. Let's go do some crabs as the one thing that we never actually did during this series as a training method that every other YouTuber uses in every single series. 
on crafting. I'm gonna glass blow my crafting up so I can get that t that thread of all the dinners. Oh no, I didn't consider having to hop to find a world. I'm definitely gonna go get a whip anyway, but oh, I can't get over there, can I? You know what? What's more one hour limit locked than realizing I can't be bothered to actually go and do something? I'll do it later. Because I have no time limits anymore. I hope you all have enjoyed this series. It has been a blast to make. Three seasons. How many days did we have total? 73 plus 46 plus 38 is... A number. 157 days. 157 days is what it takes. Anyone can complete a raid. Let's round it up. Let's say six months. Anyone can complete a raid within six months. All you need is one hour a day. That doesn't have to be on a daily basis. It can be seven hours on a Saturday because the Saturday is the day you have free. It can be one hour a day if you have one hour a day free. Could even be ten minutes at a time just doing farm runs here and there. You definitely make some fucking profit, I'll tell you that much. The point is, I've proved we can do it all. And I've shown you how bad I am in the process. So if that hasn't filled you with confidence, I don't know what I will. If watching me die a million times and still getting it done isn't enough to drive you forward, there's no hope in you, mate. There's no help in you. But honestly, this has been a blast. I, I can't wait to... <sighs> honestly, to move on to some other projects. I have enjoyed the hell out of this. I'm just really excited about what I've got coming because I have some awesome things planned. RuneScape Party and the, the Wild West series, which I can now actually think about starting... Oh my gosh, I need to make that count. The Wild West is going to be coming soon. And I think I'll probably do videos, maybe like one a month or something, of one hour unlocked. Not like a series, more just a check-in to see how I'm progressing on the account as I level it up further. But yeah, for the final time, I'm going to be signing off. Please leave some love in the comments. Let me know if you enjoyed this series, if you've been here from the start, if you found it halfway through, whatever the case may be. It's been absolutely lovely to build the community and sort of grow a fan base around this concept and also just my channel in general. So I'm hoping y'all stick around still for the, the future stuff. There's a lot of fun things to come, like I say. But yeah, just let's get some love for the journey in the comments and hit the subscribe button and the like button if you haven't already as always don't forget to look after yourselves be lovely to one another and i will see you in the next series